Well, uh, I was trimming a tree in the backyard and I misjudged the strength of the tree and got knocked off the ladder and uh, fell backwards, landed on my head and neck. I apparently had knocked myself out for a little bit uh, and spasmed. And when I came to, everything was cloudy and things were not right. It was clearly a different experience from what I'd ever had before. My vision was collapsing, uh, all turning to white at the edges. I'd never, uh, prior to that second, had never broken a bone in my body. Uh, so I thought, well, maybe my arm's broken. And I tried to sell that idea to the EMS guys who showed up. Um, uh, and um, they said, uh, no, we don't think it is, sir, uh, but you better not move. Probably 45 minutes later, when I was then in the um, EMS at uh, what was then Botsford Hospital, and this vision issue didn't clear and kept, the tunnel kept getting more and more narrow, and all the color, color at that point had faded uh, from my vision and all I could think was, what a stupid way to die. At one point, the EMS doc comes up to me and says, look, pal, there's nothing we can do for you here. And I thought, this isn't good news. Uh, and then he said, but I have a specialist on his way. He'll be here any minute. And so in just a few minutes, a man appeared at the end of my bed and said, who do we have here? I'm Dr. Sue, and I'm here to make you better. And as soon as I heard his voice, I looked down and my vision filled with color and it opened up all the way to the boundaries again. And I thought, yeah, this is the guy who can make me better. First of all, uh, when I walked into the Botsford emergency, I see a man laying on a hard board, all strapped down. So the first positive interaction is, when I asked him to move his hands and his legs, he was able to. So when he comes in paralyzed, it's hard for me to change. But if they're not, I can prevent that from happening. So the first thing I see, I see hope. And that brings joy to me, because I, at, at least he has a chance for a normal life. He has a burst fracture of multiple level, C6, C7, T1, T2, and some facet fracture at C4, C5, C5, C6. Basically, the entire spine from the mid cervical to the upper thoracic spine is broken. At that point, he claims that whenever he's tried to move his neck or head a bit, he gets a shooting numbness throughout his body which means one thing, he is highly unstable and in that situation we need to stabilize to prevent further damage to the spinal cord. Um, coming to, I could hear, before I was able to open my eyes and voices, I could hear people talking, um, I realized that somebody was reading a list and they were doing this sort of inventory. And I thought, oh, right. Fingers, hands, I can move them. Dare I try my legs. Moving my feet, I can move my legs. And then I heard a female voice say, oh look, he's doing his own inventory. And I'm sure I smiled at that point. The, the first surgery was very lengthy. Uh, and it didn't complete till um, early Monday morning. It was a Sunday morning accident. Um, but that was completed very successfully. And then when that second surgery finally did go, um, it was phenomenal. Um, because going into the first surgery, I had one of those halo apparatuses on. Coming out of the second surgery, that was gone, and I just had a neck brace, and that was a great relief. Well, I loved how direct and confident he was with me. I really, really appreciate that. Um, at one point, uh, he said, um, I said, I, I told him that I believe you are the guy that can help me. And he said, uh, that's good, because you've got no choice. 
And I just, I loved his sense of humor and the confidence that comes from that. Because I was, uh, quite frankly, not in good shape. I, um, it was uh, no exaggeration to say that my life was on the line and, uh, and my ability to move any limb again was. My accident was on a Sunday and Dr. Sue's surgery allowed me to live till Monday. And every day since. Making a person better and able to return back to the family, their loved one, and their occupation and hobby is one of the most rewarding things we could do to, uh, as a human, to help another human. is the most rewarding occupation there is.